All right. Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com, here at the Earthquake Channel. It is Thursday, December 17th, 2020, and it is 10.27 in the evening in California. All right. First, we're going to go over some of the earthquakes that hit, and then we're going to go over some of the warnings and then the forecast for the world earthquake forecast here at the Earthquake Channel. First of all, we had a 4.0 earthquake in far northwest Italy. And if you remember, we were calling for a risk of a 4.0 to 4.5 in northwest Italy or in uh, the Tunisia uh, area, Algeria, T Tunisia area. And we got a 4.0 in northwest Italy. A 4.6 earthquake hit down in southern Mexico near our 90% risk, uh, which was just offshore there. And then a 4.2 hit in our high-risk area east of Crete, which we mentioned also in the last video. Okay, let's uh, go back to the uh, California for first of all. And uh, I'm still amazed that that quake hasn't hit northwest of L.A. It just baffles me every time I think about it. But we will move forward, move forward, and uh, uh, still a lot of risk in that area. And down to the Salton Sea, so that's the area to watch during the next uh, 24 hours. Again, we'll have a forecast uh, tomorrow night as well, and we'll keep an eye on it for you. <clears throat> but that same area northwest of L.A. to the Salton Sea, Still expecting a strong earthquake in that area, uh, and we will see what we will see here in the next uh, 24 hours. It's primed and ready to go. All right, let's go up to Alaska. A uh, 6.0 earthquake is likely southwest of Anchorage near Kodiak Island during the next uh, 12 to 24 hours, and that should hit very soon near the Kodiak. Kodiak Island, watch for that. And then uh, down in Chile, the Santiago Chile forecast, um, a 5.5 is possible up near uh, southeast of Antofagasta. <clears throat> and then uh, that's on the 17th to the 18th. And then the, the uh, 19th to the 20th, uh, just northeast of Antofagasta, a 5.0 is possible on the 19th to the 20th. And you can check these maps out at quakeprediction.com. Over in Italy, uh, the risk is building uh, down near uh, Catania in Sicily in the far south. And we could get a 4.0 to 5.0 just southeast of Catania and southeast of the island of Sicily during the next 24 hours. That forecast was actually for the 19th to the 20th. And let's go to Japan. The Japan forecast is still for a about a 5.0 to 5.5 down near uh, Nagasaki, Kumamoto, and Miyazaki, down in the far south, or they call it the west, during the next 24 hours. And then, well, the risk is pretty much in the same general area on the 19th to the 20th. Over in uh, the Philippines, again, uh, we have a risk to the east, I believe, just east of Manila on the uh, 18th to the 19th, and then that switches to uh, northwest of Manila in northern Philippines on the 19th into the 20th, and either of those could produce a 4.5 earthquake. And in the Greece, Athens, Greece earthquake forecast, um, 17th and to the 18th, which is right now, um, we could get a 4.5 in southern Albania. The 18th to the 19th, we could get a 4.5 up near uh, 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 North Macedonia and northern Greece. And again, you see that risk that we were talking about east of Crete in our last uh, forecast. And then on the 19th and the 20th, the risk diminishes across most of uh, Greece and Albania, and just a slight risk offshore western Greece for maybe a 4.0 offshore there. 
Central America. Again, we have a, a pretty high risk offshore uh, southern Mexico on the 17th into the 18th. And then the risk shifts down to south of Costa Rica and uh, on the western portion of uh, Panama on the 18th into the 19th. And then back into southern Mexico and southwest of Guatemala. Pretty high risk for, for maybe a 5.0 to 5.5 on the 19th into the 20th. All right, let's look at Peru and Ecuador. Pretty low risk, uh, the 18th to the 19th up in northwest Peru and uh, just west of uh, Quito, Ecuador. And again, just a moderate risk on the 19th and the 20th in those same areas. So pretty quiet in Ecuador and Peru. In Indonesia, uh, in the next 12 hours or so, a 5.0 is possible in northern Sumatra. Uh, northwest Sumatra and off the coast of uh, northern Sumatra, maybe a 5.0 up there. And the same thing in the 18th into the 19th. Offshore, about a 5.0 in far northwest uh, in uh, Sumatra. And then the risk increases on the 19th into 20th where you can get a 5.0 to uh, 5.5 in northern Sumatra and northwest Sumatra as well. And in Taiwan, the Taiwan earthquake forecast is kind of quieted down at, during the next uh, 48 hours. Uh, about a 4.0 is possible across northern Taiwan in the next 24 hours, and it gets pretty quiet after that. And again, uh, a 5.0 to 5.5.5 is uh, likely near Kumamoto and Miyazaki um, in southern and western Japan. Now this is an interesting forecast, this next one here, Puerto Rico and uh, the Caribbean forecast. You can click on either of those, either of those over at QuakePredictions.com. Uh, the first one here, the 17th into the 18th, we could get a 5.0 earthquake from Haiti, IT, to south of Dominican Republic on the 17th to the 18th. And then a 5.0 is possible north of Puerto Rico on the 18th into the 19th. And then the 19th into the 20th, a 5.0 to 5.5 is possible in the eastern, actually anywhere in Puerto Rico, or most likely in the eastern part of uh, Puerto Rico and down into the U.S. Virgin Islands, uh, just east of Puerto Rico. And on the click on the Washington State and Oregon and Idaho forecast. Uh, today into the 18th, um, 4.0 is possible in South Central Oregon and 4.0 is possible in Central Montana on the 18th and the 19th and the 19th and the 20th and the reason why I overlap those is because sometimes the the signal might be a little bit late or a little bit early so I overlap the maps like that uh, so on the 19th and 20th southwest of Oregon there could be a 4.5 to 5.0 off the coast there. And one more forecast in, uh, last but not least, is the Turkey, Syria, Cyprus, and uh, northern Iraq forecast. Today through the 18th, a 5.0 is possible in central Turkey. And again, go to quakeprediction.com and you can see the maps very clearly and then a very interesting uh, forecast for uh, the 18th and the 19th where a 5.0 is possible in Syria or Eastern Cyprus on the 18th into the 19th of December and then the 19th and the 20th Eastern Syria and Northern Iraq could get a 5.5 on the 19th into the 20th very interesting forecast on that one once again, in uh, California, still looking for the, a strong earthquake in Southern California from northwest of L.A. down to the Salton Sea. And I'm shocked, I'm shocked that it hasn't hit yet, but we're waiting on that. Uh, please subscribe over to uh, at uh, YouTube. 
Really appreciate uh, your support here at quickprediction.com. Uh, we do this full time, 24 hours a day, and try to keep you updated. Eventually, we'll have um, reporters out around the world uh, helping us with the uh, uh, reporting earthquakes around the world as well. Thank you so much. Again, this is Luke Thomas, quickprediction.com, and we will talk to you after the earthquakes, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. And thank you very much. Please tell your friends to uh, check out this channel. And thank you very much. And have a good night. And have a good weekend coming up. Thank you so much.